Well, depending on your job, you might be thinking about it. Wearing a face mask, maybe eight, 10 hours out of the day, and it's enemy number one for your skin. Yeah, and if you're noticing problems, you are not alone. WPTV News Channel 5's Tori Dunnan has more on how you can avoid mask knee. In your wildest dreams, you probably never thought people would be complaining about acne because of mask wearing, but it's become a reality for many people. Mask knee, is that what they're calling it now? Celine Pelofi jokes about it, but says it's a real problem. Wearing the mask, especially with makeup on, um, made me break out a lot. She understands mask wearing is part of life now. I had COVID in March and um, I was sick for about two weeks. I stay in as much as I can and I try to go in and out of places very quickly so I can wear the mask as little as possible. She notices how it affects her skin though. A couple weeks ago I had a breakout so bad my dermatologist recommended that I went on antibiotics for a week. Now beauty and skin treatments are adjusting like a new face mask facial at the wellness jar medical spa using light therapy for acne and dryness. You're going to target every need that she is concerned with. What we see is people are, who never had acne, never had issues or irritations are having things where the mask is touching their skin. It uses red light or blue light technology. So it's a really effective treatment for acne and other types of breakouts. It's a problem dermatologists are seeing firsthand. And it's just a function of all the heat and humidity that the mask retains. It's the perfect growing environment for bacteria. Dr. Kenneth Beer says take little vacations from wearing the mask by staying home. Change your mask frequently. Clean your face with something that has salicylic acid. I think that it's important to understand that we're probably all in this for the long run. Tori Dunn in WPTV News Channel 5.